What is up, you horn nerds? It is me, your host once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's review, um, not a bad movie, pretty decent. It had its times that I was excited. It has its times when I was not so excited. But I'm talking about the 2017 release of Hostile. Hey. So this was originally released on TV. It is rated TVMA. So you know that there's no over-the-top gore. There's no over-the-top anything, really. Um, I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. It's, it's not a bad movie. It's pretty good. There's creatures in here that look really, really cool, that have been radiation poisoned, and they're just creepy looking. If you haven't heard of this, let's talk about it. Let's get you connected. It won to several awards, though. A worldwide epidemic has killed most of the planet's population. The few survivors struggle to find food and shelter, but they are not alone. On her way back to base camp from a scavenging mission, Juliet, played by Brittany Ashworth, has a terrible accident. Stuck in her car with a broken leg in the middle of an unforgiving desert, she must survive the perils of the post-apocalypse post while a strange creature prowls around. So, again, the creature looks really, really cool, real lanky. It actually features um, Javier Botet, I believe is his name. He played the Crooked Band in The uh, Conjuring 2. He actually has a disease that makes him look like that naturally, real lanky and things like that. And... It bodes well with the story because, I mean, he looks wild. I mean, like, this thing won, like, 20-something awards and 75 nominations. It's a good film. Um, again, it was just slightly like That's why I'm only giving it a 5 out of 10. Would I watch it again? Probably not because it is, like, Mad Max meets Resident Evil type stuff. Um, beautifully, beautifully shot. The special effects are top-notch. They didn't spare any expense. I think the part that I had a real problem with is there's an underlying love story intertwined through it. That's typically not a problem. However, the main characters were actually t uh, named in the movie Jack and Juliet. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but spoiler alert. What, the creature that's hunting her and stuff ends up being her husband or boyfriend. Or I don't even remember what it was now. But ends up being him. And she's, like, making out with this creature at the end as she's, like, killing him. And I'm like, lame, you know, I don't know. That just kind of, like, set me off a little bit because I wasn't a big fan of that. It had so much potential, and it was super exciting at times, especially when the van's upside down and she's trying to survive in this small area. Um, it just fell short at times. It's, t it's, I don't know, it's tough to explain. I wasn't mad I watched it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, for the most part, again, that love story thing just kind of hurt my heart a little bit because it's like when the vegan zombies are like, I'm not going to eat you because I don't eat meat. It's just not how that's not how that works. You know, they're either going to eat you or they're not. Anyway, Hostile 2017. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. I got more videos coming to you all the time. I appreciate y'all. Stick around.